The first kind of mallet we're going to make, uh, we are going to make out of a 2x3 uh, with a half inch dowel. And to do that, um, everything I have was just uh, scraps in the shop. So um, we're going to use some golf tees as our nails for the nailing block. Uh, this is going to be our nailing block. We need a 3 16 inch drill bit, a half inch drill bit, a coping saw, a square, and some shims. All right. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I did without uh, the kids, because I used my uh, miter saw, is I took my two by three and I cut two pieces out of it at a 10 degree angle which is going to become our mallet heads. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this half inch dowel and cut it in half. And then we're going to drill a hole in the bottom of the mallet head. So let's measure. Measure in five inches for this one. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cut right down the middle of this dowel and about uh, half of an inch down. So I'm gonna make a mark. I've got, already, I've already got that mark a half inch down. I'm gonna draw a line up and across the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of eyeballing it here. So, I'm going to cut this down for you, and we'll cut in from the end. And we're going to cut, you see where that line is? Yeah. So grab the handle of the saw, with this hand, and then we're going to go up. So next, we're gonna mark where we want to drill our hole. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure up three quarters of an inch, because that's half inch. So three quarters, we'll put a little mark there. And then we'll cut across here at the one inch mark. Right where those lines cross, that's where we're going to drill our hole. Oh. Cool, huh? Yeah, two. How are we going to it? How? Oh, we're going to set it in the spice. Oh. And can you tighten this up for me? Um, sure. Just tighten, like that. Keep going. I think this is loose. It is, yeah. Oh. What is it? And, oh. oh, nice and tight. Perfect. Yeah. Whoa, that was amazing. <laughs> All right, here you go. So now we have the hole drilled, and we have our dowel cut for our handle. And when it goes in, you can see that slot that we have right there on the top. Yeah. So what we need to do is cut this shim down so it's the same width as the dowel, and we'll hammer it in there. And the reason why we're doing that is it's still kind of loose in there. Do you see how loose that is? Yeah. So when we put glue on it, So when we put glue on it, it's not really tight enough and eventually this will come off. 
So what the wedge is gonna do, it's gonna push apart on this dowel and push up against the holes and it's gonna make it nice and tight so that this stays together for a long time. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the shim. Do you see how it, it's cut like a wedge at an angle? So we don't need much, we just need a little bit. And we, it just needs to be a very thin amount. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to cut it down. And this does not have to be exact. So all I need you to do is right about here, just cut back and forth. Okay. So you start by pulling back and then go for it. Try to get it back and that's We want this to be the same width, right? This is gonna go in there, and we could just break it off. Ready? Here, can you break this part down? Perfect. That is exactly it. And now we have a wedge that we're gonna be able to hammer in there. Can you squeeze the glue into there just a little bit? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You see the glue coming? Put it right in the hole. Put it in there. Look, you need to go a little bit more to so push a little bit further. Until it comes right through. Keep going. Keep going. It's okay. Right. You know another? You can just tap it like this. Okay, then. Look, I think we're just a little bit more. Tap it. Okay, perfect. Exactly it. All right. Now, glue makes a little bit of a mess, but you know what? It's okay. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this little skinny tool and just try to get as much of that glue into Can the I? joint as possible. Can I? Can I? And just kind of shove it in there. Can I? Just try to shove as much of that glue inside as you can. Take some of this glue and just wipe it on this wedge. And that wedge is going to go in there. So let's hammer this. But we have to be very careful, okay? So we're just going to tap, tap, tap. It's okay. It's okay. Is it still perfect? Just tap it until it's flush. And we're going to let B. See, that's nice and tight. And we're gonna let the glue dry. And that will do it for part one. Both kids love their mallets, maybe a little bit too much. Come back tomorrow for part two, where we will make a different kind of mallet, a nailing block made out of golf tees, and I'll see you then.